Just a quick look at the uh, line up today, guys. At the yard, where that is. Got some ice packs. Got some really beautiful trucks in our WS. Go down to the other yard. I know there's a lot of guys still out yet. So we'll go. Go check it out. See what's down here. Take a look around. Oh, here it is. That new... That new KW tractor parked next to my favorite sleeper. Here it is. Really, really nice. And what a great number, 4,007. Nice. Nice big KW, man. Wow, this thing is huge. Look at this interior, man. This thing is high off the ground. Holy crap. Wow, this is nice. <laughs> you gotta really lift your leg to get up in here, man. Wow. Now look at the view over this hood. Holy crap. That is high up, man. Wow. Look at that. That is your view. That's the drop visor we got going on here. It's not a new, new truck. But I gotta tell you, man, whoever had it, Really, really took care of it. It's pretty nice. Yeah, the key is she turns on. She's ready to fire up. They took the CB out. Really is an awesome look. You even got gauges up here, man. I didn't even know that. That's pretty cool. Really cool. And look, another stick. Wow, it's not automatic. What is it? It's an Eaton Fuller 13 speed. Wow, that is so cool, man. Brings back some memories right there, right? Wow. Sounds good. It's got the button seal. Yeah, that's really cool, man. That is pretty awesome. Started right up. Man, I would love to take this thing for a ride. This is really, really cool, man. This is this is what you call a classic, brother. This is what you call a really, really nice looking truck. This is an oldie but goodie, man. Look at this thing. Friggin' awesome. Love it. Love it, man. Wow, but I tell you what. I'll tell you what, to get out onto that first step, it's quite a reach. Wow. Got the nice plate on the back. Nice quarter fenders on here. Like I said, it's not new, but I remember this truck when I used to go down to English Town to the truck races, there's my other favorite, Peter Bell sleeper cab. But this truck, I remember this going down to English Town uh, to the truck show when we used to have the truck shows down in English Town. That was such a great event. I used to love going to that every year. Me and my father-in-law would go to that event. But I remember seeing this truck. This truck is really, really a nice truck got a plug on here. I don't know why there's a plug on here. But let me put it back inside. Yeah, I remember this truck. I believe, I think this was an action truck. 
This thing is just, just beautiful, man. Look, look, I'm six feet tall. Look, look. That grill, the top of that grill, if you see my head, I'd have to be at least six inches taller. Wow. That is so nice. Such a beautiful, beautiful old school rig. It really is gorgeous. Beautiful KW. I wonder if that's uh, the W900 day cab. Let me see if it says. It looks like a W900 with that big nose on it. It doesn't say. But yeah, look at it. He even got the chrome air cleaner right there. That's pretty awesome, man. That really is. That is such a cool truck. Love it. Love it. Love it. That's one truck I'd love to clean up and take it for a ride. It even has the XM radio. XM radio antenna on there. That is what I call a cool ride, man. And that is an awesome picture right there. I gotta take that picture. Man. I gotta come back around and take that picture. God, I love that truck. If I had that truck, man, oh my God. It would be so clean. Just beautiful. Here we have the Freightliner. Still got a lot of guys still out working. So, uh, yeah, I can take this picture right here of these two trucks because this is just this is just an awesome picture right here, man. That is just beautiful. All right, guys, I'll get back to you later. Be good, be safe, and happy Easter.